where are we going with this? Well, I think it's a disgrace, Jim, if I'm honest. A disgrace from the WBC. You know, he's the mandatory challenger. He was told that he was going to get the next shot. Um, and it hasn't happened. He, and, and I think the WBC's ruling is... I think they had the, the, their ruling was that because this arbitration is going on with Dillian White and the WBC it's about... Legal not, yeah, it's yeah. legal battle about not getting his shot. They're now giving Fury... A, 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 a chance to go and fight somebody else voluntary and then fight the winner of AJ Usyk, which is where does that leave Dylan White? We could be talking about another two years here. I mean, this is a, I think it's terrible for boxing. It's a disgrace. I think the WBC need to step up and give Dillian his shot. Yeah. Well, I mean, Simon, surely the simple thing is for Dillian White to drop any well, legal of action. Of course, that's the easy answer, isn't it? I mean, it's preposterous. We've, we had Mauricio Suleiman on the show who didn't want to answer the questions about what a manager Shandra looks like because clearly he doesn't recognise the own status that they give. He's given Canelo Alvarez a shot at a world title at, at Cruiserweight. Mm. Yeah. Why, why is that then? Because Canelo Alvarez will bring in big attention, big bucks to the division, and he'll do that for him. Dillian White has to take, drop his arbitration and say, right, I'll have my fight. If, in a kind of... Ironic way, you reap what you sow. Your bum rushed Otto Wallen out of the way to mm -hmm. get your WBC shot. <laughs> yeah. So it's gone round in circles. And maybe Frank Warren will have a view on the fact that his promoter can't deliver him a world title fight. Because that's what Frank's assertion was about Dillian White previously, was mm. well, have a look at the promoter. If he hasn't got a world title shot, then have a look at the promoter. Well, this is going to go nowhere for White as long as this legal battle continues. Yeah. And so that, he wants to need, he needs to tell his lawyers, scrub this, scrap it. 100%. You know, like he's in the position where... Like we all thought the fight was happening, didn't we? Tyson Fury, Dillian White next, because Joshua Usyk are doing their thing. It was like a semi-final again, really. Winner boxes, winner, undisputed, done. Simple. Well, it's not that simple, is it? Because we've got this legal battle going on with Dillian, and I don't know where, where they're it's at It's only that. not that simple with the WBC. Yeah. It's always the WBC. Mm. It's not necessarily the other ones, and I know that... Um, what, Usyk, they're always the problematic ones. Usyk time. had to force the WBO, didn't he? Yeah. Usyk forced... When Joshua and... A few we were playing the dance of the seven veils with one another about how much money they were going to get out of it. Usyk was in the but background. But there was no complica complications with that WBO but situation. Was going, I'm the WBO. Yeah. I'm the next one up. You will fight me next, and I will fight you if you don't. Metaphorically, through the, the courts. Yeah. So he made it happen. Yeah. But the ones that seem to consistently defy the fairness of the system are the WBC. Look, WBC are, are, are sort of are now giving um, Canelo that shot at the WB it's a racket. yeah WBC champion. Um, Macabre, who Tony Bellew beat for the WBC title to win the right. WBC title at Goodison Everton Park. at Goodison yeah. Park. Mm. Right. You know, they're giving him that shot. It's like that. And, but yet, yeah, Dillian White doesn't get his shot. It just None of it makes sense. Sure. And now, Simon, reports suggest there'll be an interim fight for Fury in the new year. And who could be in the frame for that? You might think Ruiz Jr. You might think our old pal Joe Joyce. But he doesn't want any of these fights. No. He told you the fights he wants. Yeah. Tyson was very specific. His dad said he would have difficulty getting up for Dillian White. But he, this is what Tyson said. Dillian White, Anthony Joshua twice, yeah. Usyk, and his old mate Derek Chisora to give him yeah. a payday. Those are the five fights. So here's the first one. Away you go. Mm. Right. Simon, uh, Spencer, let's get more meat in the bones on this one because I'm delighted to say Tyson's uh, boxing promoter here in the UK, Frank Warren, has joined us uh, this afternoon. Frank, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jim. Good afternoon, Simon. Hiya, Frank. Uh, hey, Frank. Frank, thank you very much for joining us. Where, where are we at with all this legal action that Dillian White's people uh, are taking, this legal battle uh, with the WBC? Uh, uh, until that's dropped, White can't really move in any which direction, can he? Um, I don't know what his legal action is. He, you know, when he was married, he lost his title, and then he fought again and, and uh, beat the guy, and beat the guy, and he's in, uh, he's in that position. What they've said at the WBC is that let it go to arbitration, let the arbitrator decide on whether um, he's got a case or not. And if he has, then, then obviously they'll abide by that. And they've said that the split, which we, which we can't quite get at the moment, is either going to be 85-15 um, in Tyson's favour or 80-20. And that's because of the, the purses that were submitted by five box for the last few fights. In, White's instance, he said his last fight, he got $300,000 or pounds. I'm not Right. We still got Frank there. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, good. Frank, good, good, good still to have you. So while that's going on with Dillian White, what's going to go on with Tyson? Well, we're working on a couple of things at the moment. He, I spoke to him the day before yesterday. He made it very clear that he wants to fight in late February, early March, and that's what we will do. 
Is there an op- is there a chance that that will be against Dillian White, or, or are you looking somewhere else, Frank? Well, not for the money. That, not for the, what he thinks his worth is. It'd be for it, you know. It'd be for what what is determined by the WBC. And if we can get that on, then it that shouldn't be a problem. But we're not. You know, we're not bending over backwards for him. You know, I, I've got to do. I've got to just make sure Tyson has a fight. And that's what, as I say, that's what, what, what we're working on very hard. How does that formula work, Frank? Do you, do you think that the formula should be set preordained for mandatory challenges that they get a minimum amount out of a fight? Or you just think it ebbs and flows based upon who the fighters are? It depends on who the fighters are. I mean, it's, look, it's no different than, than, you know, if you're a broadcaster or a, a, a pop star. If you're on the bill, I mean, just say, for example, you've got, I don't know, Beyonce on the bill and you've got somebody who's not so well known. She's not going to give you know, half of the taking... From the yeah, I'm not suggesting half, Frank, but we saw we saw one of your fighters, Joe Joyce, getting a right royal mick taken out of him by Usyk, telling him that he can get 10% out of a fight. Well, it does, it does wrong, have to be some it, balance, doesn't there? It, 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 you're right. I mean, the, the minimum is normally... The minimum is 20%. Right. That's the minimum. Um, but, but, but you can, under their regulations, state, say that, you know, you can challenge that. So, you know, I feel... The, check, you know, the, the, the mandatory challenge say so I feel I'm worth more than that and if that is the case in some some in some cases it's happened where the the, 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 the respective organization will will look at their purses they uh, lodge with a, with the with the governing body as to how much they earn and 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 calculate what they feel is fair so, so is this argument government. with Dillian Wyatt about purse splits or is it argument about historic not being given a shot? Well, not giving a shot is something between him and the WBC and uh, Matron, the various promoters. That's something that was in was was within Matron's, um, well, in, for the last three years, isn't it? A thousand mm. days. Yeah, yeah, but bizarre it, situation, it, is, isn't is, it? Is, We're is, in. is he fighting the WBC on the basis of not being given a shot, or is he fighting the WBC on the purse split for a fight that he may not yet even get? I think he'll be fine at the moment for the shot and the purse split. I don't think he's got anywhere to go with it because the facts facts are facts. And he lodged his last purse as being 300,000. So he's, you know, compared with Tyson, which was quite... Yeah, I mean, yeah, million, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course, that. of course. So Tyson, Tyson, you know, he's in the driving seat. He's a champion. He's fought, fought hard to get there, by the way. He's not having any easy fights. He's fought hard to get there. And, uh, and it's 20% and that, of a much bigger pie, isn't it, as well? Of course he is. He's entitled to it. And uh, and it, look, what I, of course the fighter wants to get paid. I appreciate that and see that. But he also, you've got to look at the other side of it. Mm. If you think you're as good as you are... Go win it. Take the shot. And, win. and then you're yeah. in the driver's seat. He could have yeah. done that against Anthony Joshua and he turned down four or five million dollars to fight Joshua. Mm. So... Me, so, I look at that and say, where's your ambition? What are you in this? So, so, Frank, I mean, the bottom line question is, we're kind of up to 12.30 bulletin, would be this. While Dillian White's head is turned with his lawyers involved in this wrangle, would I be right in thinking Tyson's preference would be a straight fight with Usyk in February? Well, that's correct. But you know what stands in the way of that? The AJ has, uh, has, has invoked the uh, re- rematch clause. So that's where they're at. If, if AJ steps aside... And let us do that. Maybe uh, the winner could fight uh, Joshua. Who knows? I mean, you know, can you see a parallel universe where you can? Can you see a parallel universe where you can buy him out of that situation? Because you couldn't do it with Deontay Wilder. It will be money that moves that decision, won't it? Well, I think it's a bit, bit of both, really, um, Simon. There is a step aside, step aside feat. There's also the chance of fighting the winner of Usyk of yeah, Usyk and Tyson. a unified title. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Dang, you're in position. But then you'd have a rematch, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you have a rematch? If if if, if yeah. Fury and Usyk sign a fight, they're both going to have a rematch clause in, which means you're now waiting for another 18 months. You could do that. You could put it in. But the fact of the matter, as far as AJ's concerned, he said he wanted to be a unified champion. That's the way forward. He can do that in one fight by the side. Mm. Right. Okay. Frank, thank you very much indeed. Frank Warren with us this lunchtime.